Live from the studios of WJTV, this is News 12 at 5 with Gwen Belton, Sean McLaughlin, and the WJTV News Team. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sean McLaughlin. And I'm Gwen Belton. A Bolton Cafe known for its great food and interesting conversation is in ashes tonight. Fire got at Max Cafe yesterday evening. Bolton residents say the downtown cafe is the place for a good cup of coffee, lunch, or to catch up on small-time gossip. Workers in the truck as they come in and stop and get their lunch here. And any building that's being built, the workers come back here and eat. White and black right together. She cooked that little soul food, you know. It's believed a grease fire is to blame for the loss of the cafe. The owner had insurance, which is good news for customers. It's likely they'll rebuild. Allegedly found a 9mm gun under the seat of the car he was riding in. He was charged with various weapons violations and with being a convicted felon in possession of a firearm. Now, if convicted, Shakur faces up to five years in prison. He is already serving a 15-day jail sentence for beating up a director on the set of a music video last March. An investigation continues into a helicopter crash in California. Authorities say the chopper burst into flames, killing two people. South African President Nelson Mandela has named his chief black rival to a cabinet post. Zulu nationalist Mangasutu Budulezi will serve as Home Affairs Minister. He will oversee the nine provinces created under the country's new political system. Some showers starting to drift in across the area, mainly uh, in west-central sections of the state. A couple of showers, though, down to our southwest, but just to the west of Vicksburg. This afternoon, scientists say dioxin can possibly cause problems with the immune system as well. Most adults and children already have concentrations of dioxin in their bodies. Researchers say the study involved laboratory animals and that they are not certain what effects dioxin has on humans. In today's Health Watch Focus, the Food and Drug Administration has approved a new medication for asthma sufferers. Summery day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where have you been? That. It was not nice and summery <laughs> outside today, was it? Yeah, it wasn't yes. bad. Where yes. was I then? There was yes. a good amount of sunshine. There were some clouds in there from time to time. But you know, I got to be an optimist here, Sean. You know how it is. Yeah. yeah. When I was out, it was sunny, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and when I was out, it was hot. cloudy. How about that? Well, there you go. I don't know. Two different stories, folks. We'll let you decide. But uh, we are going to see a mixed bag of weather, actually. The next couple of days, there will be some showers. There will also be some sunshine. Right Right now, partly sunny skies, 83 degrees on the outside, the relative humidity 59%, and the wind coming out of the south at about 6 miles an hour. We hit 83 this afternoon or this evening because that is our current temperature. We're looking at partly sunny skies, but don't be surprised if there is a shower or two. 70 as you start out your day tomorrow morning with partly to mostly cloudy skies. Doppler 12 regional radar showing you. Look at the little blips. They're real small. Rule for the next five days. Overnight lows will be in the middle and upper 60s. You said it's summery. It's certainly feeling a lot like summer out there, considering oh, yeah. we're still halfway through uh, spring, really. So I we know, still have a little ways to go. Hit us yet, huh? I know. One more month to go. Ooh, then we're talking 90s and hundreds. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's when the real fun begins. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. You got it. Sean, Rick. Rick Sutter, tell us what kind of numbers the Braves have put up today. Yeah, you know, they, they were stumbling a little bit a couple weeks ago, but uh, they are still the Braves. <laughs> very, very good. You know, last night, the Braves scored seven runs in the ninth inning. To, uh, with, against the Phillies, and that forced the extra innings. Atlanta went on to win at 9-8. to eight. The two teams played again this afternoon. Let's check it out. We'll pick it up. Fred McGriff at bat. There was no... I'm talking a lot with uh, former police chief Jimmy Wilson, who's been talking about an investigation into alleged corruption in the Hines County Youth Detention Center. Well, at this hour, the mayor is having a news conference, and the mayor is supposed to be addressing that issue. We're told... Back here tomorrow. So long.